guys, I hope that everyone is doing well. If you are new here, hello, my name is Kausar and I'm teaching Darija. And that, by the way, if you want to learn Darija in the most structural way and you want to start from the beginning and you want to be fluent very fast during this summer, this is like a summer challenge. You can contact me through my WhatsApp. You'll find it in the comment section or through my email or my social media. And I will give you the information that you will need and surprise you loved one. Okay, so today is like very fun. So Moroccans and knowing that they speak French as a second language. So you will like to hear a lot of people either speaking French, especially in like big cities as Casablanca, Rabat and all of this kind of middle area. And uh, mostly like in uh, the north, they speak some Spanish. But that is in general, it's already a mix of languages. So when we speak, we might throw words in from like French words, English words, uh, there is some tender depth words. It's just like a mix of languages and that's what makes it unique. Today we're going to talk specifically about like French, the French words that we use like quite often. And this way when you are speaking and you want to throw some new French words and feel like kind of romantic and nice, you can do that. Okay, so we start with like the very, 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 very basic, um, like good morning. So if you already have a problem with the word sabah al khair, uh, which is having this kind of uh, weird letters as I wrote over here, sabah al khair. Everyone in the beginning find it difficult. So the French word for it is bonjour. And the thing is, what's nice about when Moroccans speak uh, French, they don't really care about the accent. So if you are French, you tell me like, we don't say it that way, we don't care. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, like uh, when we speak uh, like uh, French, we kind of like turn it to sound as uh, Derija. So that's like why we speak it in a certain way. So you can say like, bon, ah, bonjour, ça va, la base, be here. Even the word for like, how are you, we use sometimes like a French word. So you can like have like this mix as well. You can say that for example, uh, bonjour, ça va, uh, and you can say like the other ones. So you might hear, so I'm teaching you that because you might want to use it, but also if you hear it, you will understand, oh, oh that's like French. That's also like me, like good morning. So yeah, we said like, um, bonjour. So bon is like, a, I have like two parts, like bonjour, it's like good day. And, and that's mean like good morning. So it is good day. You can use it like in the middle of the day if you want it to, <laughs> but we use it uh, for us like to mean good morning, okay? So you can say bonjour. After that, for example, if you want to say how are you, you can use the word ça va. It's easy to pronounce. Uh, when we write it, we really like use the, like the little things in there, it's like something like first pe people like know that. But uh, yeah, we do like use ça va quite a lot. Um, and then you can continue speaking. So if you are already, I would say pre-intermediate, you can use all of that exchange business. Like, salam, kidayr, sabah, labas, kushi mzian, kushi bekhir, kidayr masha, kidayr alwalidin, kushi bekhir. And you can keep going. So uh, if you are like a beginner, so what I've been saying is actually Moroccans say quite a lot to say just how are you, so it's like, how are you? Is everything good? Is everything well? How is your family? How is your mom? How is your sister? How is your health? How is work? And we keep going, <laughs> so that's like a little bit fun. Okay, so we said about that. Let me see what I was over. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, bien sûr, bien sûr. So again, we don't pronounce it right. I know we say like uh, bien sûr. That's mean like of course. So um, if you forgot the Danish word, you can like remember the um, you know um, the French word. So bien sûr, bien sûr. So you can like remember it from English sure to mean of course. So Beyonce has me sure, of course, yeah, of course. So when you agree about uh, about something. Okay, the real the real word for it, you can say like darori, darori. Um, some Moroccan see merloum, merloum. So these words are, I'm, I'm giving you the French words, but also the equivalent that you can use in the real, the pure the ones. So yeah, we have Beyonce, you can say merloum, merloum. And that's kind of like, Absolutely, but also like, of course, and then we have darori, okay? I do like the word darori, I do use it, okay? So for example, see you tomorrow, and then it's like, oh, darori, of course, darori, <laughs> or me'loum, or bien sûr. So you can use any of this as an answer. Um, for example, you can say also like, uh, darori nshuf gadda, darori nshuf gadda. And that's mean over here is necessary. It's very important to see you tomorrow. So just like remember that that is a bit um, not straight, not like, okay, this word means this, that we're going to use it this way. Sometimes it's have double meaning. For example, if I use darori in the beginning of the sentence, it's mean 
um, you are like making sure that the other person will do something. For example, Darori should Kadda, Darori do Warliya, and that means it's necessary, it's very important that you would do that thing. Okay? So, and you don't do Ma'loom with it, like in this way, you just like for Darori. Um, okay, we have that. This is easy. Pasa pas, pasa pas. <laughs> uh, it can be serious sometimes. Pasa pas, you can like see it's almost look like uh, English face to face. So, for example, in hadar mag, uh, for example, it's better like we talk face to face, like pas, pasa pas, like face to face. So, I can say, uh, min al ahsan, min al ahsan. So, that's from the better to mean it. Is going to be better. Min l ahsan, min ahsan. Nhadro, nhadro. It's like we speak. Me and you, pasapas, pasapas. So pasapas. This is French. We don't have any other way of saying it in Darija. That's the only way we say it. Pasapas. Everyone understands it, even if it's like the old people. Okay. So nhadro, gda, pasapas. We speak tomorrow face to face. Okay. So this is easy, like we don't have to stay like too long for it. Um, and the other easy words that we actually use, uh, so the word al-qahwa, al-qahwa is coffee. And um, when you go to a cafe or like a restaurant and you want to order like a drink or like coffee, uh, for us, like we can like use the French words. We quite often use it because the menu mostly like is in French. So we see like, for example, café noir. So for us, like we are so used to these words. Café noir is mean black coffee. Noir is black and café is kahwa, okay? So you might say like kahwa kila, but we mostly actually in the café, we see café noir. <laughs> and it's easy to remember, okay? So for example, café noir, I can say like café cream. I can say for example, uh, café oli, uh, like café with milk. So these words, like we actually do use. And for example, we don't have like uh, no um, hot chocolate. We don't use the Arabic word for it. We mostly say like chocolat chaud, and that's French as well. Okay, and it's easy to remember, so we don't have to say long for it. So chocolat chaud. Okay. Uh, vraiment, <laughs> I like this word. So vraiment, it's I mean really, really. So for example, ana vraiment y ana daba. I'm like really tired today. Uh, or like uh, sometimes we say like, um, vraiment, like uh, really, like this is happening. So yeah, vraiment. So or in, the, in the end, like we uh, pronounce it as O. So vraiment, it's mean really, okay? Uh, and uh, I, you hear me say like, uh, uh, for example, okay, 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 okay. Uh, the next one we have d'accord, d'accord, d'accord. You don't pronounce the last letter. I don't know why they have in it, having it there. We don't pronounce it, but it's there. But in English, you do have a lot of silent letters. So, <laughs> so it's like new to you. Okay, daco, it's mean daco. Okay, you agree with the person. <laughs> it's just like daco. So you might hear people saying that. For example, see you tomorrow, daco, daco. Okay, that's mean, okay. Um, another one, uh, this is close to English, you can remember it. Attention, attention. So attention is like uh, attention and we say pay attention to something. For example, oh, attention, like be careful and also mean like pay attention and you know, like it's very close. You can see like when to use it. So we pronounce it, attention, attention. The real Larija word for it is endek, 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 okay? So we can use it, for example, if you are crossing the road and like you have not like saw, uh, see the, the car that's coming too fast and someone's like, oh, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see. And then that's mean like, be careful, pay attention. Or endek, endek. And not like endek, not the verb to have, endek is endek, ag. You have to put the vowel in there. Okay, what's over here? Um, do we have, we said like, we have to have Oh, okay, boko. So, Merci, thank you. Uh, thank you and thank you so much. We use them in French quite a lot as well. So thank you is merci, merci. And sometimes we see with, instead of saying, you can say merci bizarre, but like it's actually where we say either the whole French one or the whole Derija one. So either you will say like, shukran bizarre, thank you so much, shukran bizarre, or merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. 
By the way, between parentheses, I wrote Boko uh, in short way. So sometimes when people text in, they don't like to write the whole word. You will just like say, uh, write it this way. Okay? Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Is this a pronoun? Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Okay? Uh, another one is like, uh, to see how much. Sometimes we use the French word, and the French word is combien. Combien. And sometimes, you, if you want to use the digital word, you can say like shhal. Shhal. Either shhal or shhal. So I'm just like use, telling you the, the words that uh, you can like use daily. You know? And of course, like we always go out and we buy things, and you can say like combien. And uh, okay, so for example, the word for tiki, ticket. In English, we say tiki, it's worth in the same way. We don't have to write it over here, it's, it's easy. Um, some other words that we actually uh, we use also, uh, for example, salon, uh, that came from French, uh, television, like that's like derija, like we say television, tifeza, but um, television is came from French, we use it as well. For example, canapé, we don't have any word for it. Uh, we can say little half for the traditional Moroccan one, but we also say like canapé. Um, Biso. Okay, au revoir, biso. So au revoir is mean goodbye, and we do say it sometimes, and it's followed by biso, and biso is mean like kisses. So we do say that it's cute, and we do use it, okay? So we have biso, and we have au revoir, au revoir, au revoir. Okay, I'm going to give you just two more. No, no, three more. <laughs> Because there are too many. I, I, I don't want to make it a very long video. Okay, so um, if you want to say like, uh, till tomorrow, we see you tomorrow or something. And, and uh, we do the same thing in Danish. We don't say, say the whole thing. It's like Adoma, Adoma. Adoma is mean till tomorrow, which means uh, till tomorrow and I will see you. Till tomorrow and we will call you. Till tomorrow, it depending on the conversation that you had before that. So you can see Adoma, Adoma, Adoma. Okay, that's easy. After that, uh, I'm going to write it out of maître or merde. <laughs> so we pronounce it either way. And that's like mean mort do, 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 do rire. And we do have actually, like we say that quite a lot in Darija as well. It's like which means the dying of laughter. So um, it's like kind of the equivalent in English, we say like I love my ass. Oh, or something like that. <laughs> so it's almost the same. So we see the most the back. You can use that. Uh, but when we text in, we will write it this way. I will write it over here. And if someone read this, it just means like, look, laughing out loud. I'm dying with laughter. And it just means like something super funny. Okay. Um, what did we do? Okay. So last one is aujourd'hui. Sometimes we instead of saying like today, Yuma, we say like aujourd'hui. Um, and uh, that's maybe it's, uh, good to, to know, like it's good to know some words like that in French, like aujourd'hui, uh, doma, uh, tomorrow, and something like that, because hier, yesterday, because sometimes we do use some French words. And I would say that the most city that use French quite a lot is Rabat and Casablanca. That's like the most two cities, like where we actually do like use French. Okay. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also like uh, make sure to like and comment uh, how did you find the video? Do you know some French? Are you interested in using the French words or you just will keep it like purely Derija? So let me know. And also do not forget that there is like an offline course that can help you speak Derija very, very, very fast. And uh, later on, we just like share, share some like reviews from the students who already done it and they are doing really great. This way you get inspired. So I hope that you are having a great day and au revoir.